the governor in the last several weeks have, uh, has, has put up some containers down the southern border. I wonder if you're going to leave those up. What is a what does the border policy look like as you get ready to go here? Well, I think it, and I've said this many times, um, it's it's impossible for the governor to have a unilateral border policy because the border is federal, and we need to work with the federal government on better border security. And, I, and I've been pretty vocal that I think the Biden administration hasn't done enough on border security. It's going to be at the top of my agenda to work with them on. Um, in terms of shipping containers, whatever other political stunts may be in place, I think we need to use Arizona taxpayer dollars in the ways that best benefit Arizonans. And I think the shipping containers are a political stunt. Um, there's many pictures of people climbing over them, so they're not providing the barrier that was intended. And now we're going to be embroiled in a legal battle because the federal government has stepped in and said they need to be removed. Uh, so that's another cost on top of the already million dollar, millions of dollars that the shipping containers have cost. So we need to solve this in the way that's best for Arizonans. I don't necessarily know what that looks like yet, uh, but, but we need real solutions. You know, Governor Ducey, in his eight years, really expanded and packed the Arizona Supreme Court full of, of conservative justices. And I wonder, how does that impact your veto power? You know, you're going to now have divided government up at the state capitol. And does that impact, you know, landscape in terms of legislation and your agenda? You know, I, I certainly have not been shy to say that I'll be willing to use my veto pen on legislation that's not the best thing for Arizona. Um, but I'm hopeful that I can work with the legislature um, and that veto pen certainly should be a, a powerful negotiating tool so that we can all have uh, some of the things that we want uh, on the table. Um, and certainly I've thought about the composition of the Supreme Court. I would hope that we can work together on some things rather than have the state continue to be embroiled in legal battles. Uh, and I also believe that we need more diversity on not just the Supreme Court, but, but courts in general. And we'll work on making sure that we're putting in place more diverse appointments that reflect the diversity of our state. Governor-elect, what does your election say about Arizona? Well, I said this many times on the campa campaign trail that this election was not about Democrats or Republicans, but really a choice between sanity over chaos. And Arizonans chose sanity. And they didn't just choose that in my election, but in, in reelecting Mark Kelly, uh, in, in uh, keeping the Secretary of State's office out of the hands of an election denier, not just an election denier, but an actual insurrectionist, uh, and the Attorney General's office as well. Uh, so I'm looking forward to, uh, to working with these folks um, to, to continue to move our state forward. And I think that's what Arizonans want. Do you feel a sense of vindication, if you will? You know, you, 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 you stuck to not wanting to debate. Mm -hmm. You said we cannot debate with a conspiracy theorist. You took some heat from people within your party. And yet, in the end of the day, more Arizonans elected you to become the next governor of this state. Yeah. You know, I, I'm not really focused on what we went through on the campaign. I know that we ran a good campaign and uh, we were disciplined in the campaign and we made the right decisions uh, as far as the debate or whatever else goes. And I'm focused on the task at hand now, which is getting to work governing. I have one last question for you. Has it sunk in yet? We had a very long campaign. We had a long election week. Race wasn't called until six nights after election night. Has it sunk in for you and your family? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, there's still things we're getting used to, but, um, but we're excited. Uh, and uh, certainly there's a lot to do between now and January 2nd when I take the oath of office. And so uh, uh, if it hasn't sunk in, I, I better do something real quick to make sure it does. <laughs>